hi guys welcome to my channel welcome to lebang's bubble thank you so very much for tuning in and as you can see by the title of the video i will be doing a hair review for this lovely wig that i got from dragon city recently i really want to do hair reviews on my channel so this is me slowly introducing this segment and yeah i really do hope that you enjoy the review i'm going to make it as um simple and beginner friendly as possible this is my first wig installation i want to keep it natural and simple i think as time goes by then i'll start doing the whatevers you know but i'm really loving the look and yeah enjoy the video and if you do please comment like and subscribe Mwah. so guys before i begin with the hair install i'm just going to show you a few of the essentials that i got from um dragon city for this hair install the products are nice and affordable and yeah i'll just show you each product and then i'll give you the price as well so that if you also want to do um hair installs and you're a beginner like myself you can go to dragon city if you can um for me i know that is the hair heaven that's where you get anything and everything from wigs to hair products to whatever it is that you need for um hair installations so yeah let me just show you what i got and then i'll begin with the installation so guys i got these two wax sticks these were 48 run each and yeah this is how it looks when you open it up you just press the bottom underneath and then it pops out and then i got this elastic this was 20 rand and yeah the next thing i got were these hair pins which were five rand each i think i got six in total i didn't think i needed a lot and yeah this is the important part i got a mannequin head as well as a tripod i bought them separately so the tripod was 200 rand i feel like i should have gotten the bigger one that was 50 rand more anyways the mannequin head was 180 and it's 23 inches wide so yeah guys this is a 20 inch frontal wig that i bought from um, a lady at dragon city she doesn't work in a specific store but yes here is the front i asked her to cut the lace which i actually shouldn't have done my bad although yes uh, i have worn this wig once so i did slightly tint the the lace inside but this is how it looks inside uh it's pretty normal the wig is not glueless i did ask her to make it glueless although because it didn't fit on my mannequin head i had to loosen it up a bit so yes that's fine and the wig doesn't shed that much i don't have much to complain about uh, I'm really impressed. The quality of the hair is amazing. It is nice and soft. It doesn't tangle at all. So, yeah, I'm going to install this and yeah, show you guys how it looks in the end. I did have to plug the lace uh, in front. Yeah, I'll just show you a video of how I, the method I used to plug the hair. I got the method from this wig installer, or should I say hairstylist by the name of Arrogant Tay. Of course, I'm still a beginner, guys, when it comes to plucking. It wasn't that easy, but I did my best because the hairline wasn't, it was looking quite full. Let me just say that. So I wanted a more natural hairline, but yes, this wig was 2,000 Rand on the dot. And yes, I will leave her details down in the description box. Of course, if you are interested in purchasing from her, you can just buy, um, you can just text on WhatsApp or find her inside i can't even describe where in dragon city she is because it's quite chaotic and there's a lot of people that are selling hair guys so i think it's best to just text on whatsapp and then ask her for directions or details in terms of the hair and yeah um yeah guys i'm gonna install this hair right now i'll just do a voiceover and you'll just watch me install using my own method and whatever is easier for me as i said i'm gonna make it as beginner friendly as possible and yeah keep it simple so keep watching and yeah guys the wig came in quite a normal packet really nothing hectic and then yes she included this in the packet the wig caps and then a cute little comb as well so yeah so guys right now i am brushing my hair back i also combed it I'm going to use hair mousse as well just to flatten it a bit more so that my wig is not bumpy on my head. And yeah, I'm about to attempt the bald cap method. I don't really know why I'm complicating my life. But anyways, I just wanted to try it out and see if I could 
do it successfully so yeah my wig cap is this nude shade which i would like so that my scalp looks more natural underneath the wig and yeah i'm just gonna slip this on to my head and then use got to be glue to um, start attempting this bald cap method so right now i am just positioning the wig cap on my head i obviously want it to be way above my hairline and i'm putting it over my ears as well because i'm going to cut the holes by my ears so yeah so here is some um, got to be freezing extreme hold spray i'm about to spray this above my hairline i'm doing my best to do that but it's a bit difficult because it kind of just flows everywhere and yeah it's still wet but anyways yeah i'm just gonna spray this all over my hairline until i get to the very end so the mistake that i did do here is that i did not um cut the holes by my ear so it is a bit difficult to cut but i guess you'll see um that later on yeah so right now i'm just sort of dabbing it with my finger and trying to get this glue to not you know make my whole entire face wet <laughs> Okay, so now that I am done spreading the glue all over my hairline, I'm just using a hairdryer right now. It is um, on heat mode. It's hot. So yeah, I'm just trying to dry up this glue. And yeah, as I said, I don't know why I didn't think of cutting the holes in my ear, but it's okay. I'm just waiting for this to dry up. And then afterwards, I will start um, cutting it off once it's completely dry. So yes, at this point I can feel that the glue has now dried up. So this is me attempting and struggling to cut the holes now. I was supposed to do that in the very beginning, but yeah, I was just like, let me, let me just do this first. Let me cut the lace on my hairline first and then I'll deal with the ears after. So yeah, I'm just using a little razor right now and cutting it off um, slowly. I can't really tell how far back I should go, but as long as it's not too, you know, like right in the center of your forehead. So, yeah. So over here, I'm just spraying on some got to be glue and yeah, I'm just gonna spray that until I get to my ear and then wait for it to go a little dry or not completely dry, but like sticky and then I'll glue my wig on from there onwards. Okay, so finally I'm gonna use my hair dryer now to dry well speed up the process of drying up this got to be glue on my head so that I can stick the wig on so yeah that's what I'm gonna do it is pretty hot it is on heat mode so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so now that the glue has dried up, I'm going to stick on my wig and comb my hairs back so that my hairline is nice and clean. I'm not going to be doing any edges guys, I'm going to keep it nice and simple for now.
now that my glue is nice and secure I'm just going to put on some elastic so that it can dry up I'm going to tighten it up at the back and then yeah over here um, while my glue is drying up I'm just trying to create a middle part uh, which I have not done yet with this wig so yeah as you can see it's not defined at all and yeah right now I'm just going to straighten the wig I do not have a I don't have like wig clips so right now I'm just tying it up in sections and I'm going to straighten it up section by section and yeah it is going to take a bit of time and I would have preferred to straighten it with the comb as well but yeah I just did what I did y'all <laughs> So now that all the straightening is done, I'm going to go in with some hair wax because I obviously want my wig to be nice and flat. So I'm going to go in with that um, right there by the middle part, right in between and then I'm going to go to the other side as well. Then afterwards we are going to switch on the hot comb, leave it to be nice and hot and then yeah, just flatten it some more. So over here I'm about to go in with some um, olive oil hair mousse just to flatten my hair a bit more and also help with a bit of shine so I'm just going in with that all the way till the end. So over here I'm just going in with my hot comb just for that extra extra flatness and yeah I'm just trying to make it as neat as possible but yeah this is pretty much the final result. I see that you have made it to the end of the video. I really hope that you enjoyed my first hair install. I try to keep it nice and simple but I really love the result. It's nice and natural. I still have a lot more learning to do and the bold cap method is uh was tricky for me but i'm still learning if you guys have any um advice for me or any products that you want to suggest for uh, a beginner when it comes to wigs and hair installations please comment down below feel free and if there are any companies out there that would like to, to have me review their hair i will leave my email down in the description box 
below if you'd like to get a hold of me as well as if you are interested in buying this beautiful 20 inch hair or any other hair really that um her name is for like hair thing that for like hair sells i will leave her details in the description box below as well so yeah comment like subscribe you know the vibe thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you in my next video bye Thank you.